We have digital V stories and more, including sports and entertainment. If you stay with me over the next 60 minutes, let's begin from here. And media watchers say this is a worrying trend, which is the downgrade of Ghana's press freedom ratings. The press freedom advocates have attributed Ghana's fall on the World Press Freedom Index to what they describe as vindictive nature of the current regime. Ghana, we know, placed 60th in the 2022 rankings after placing 30th last year. This is the country's lowest ever ranking in 17 years. The report put together by Reporters Without Borders also noted safety of Ghanaian journalists has deteriorated in the last one year. Let me just quickly run by you what the figures look like in the past 10 years. So we know that, um, you know, up from 2005 till we have it now, we've had a consistent either appreciation or depreciation in terms of uh, uh, nominal percentages you know, in the ranking. So we know that in 2022, the ranking, we are 60th with a score of 67.47. 2021, we're 30th with a score of 78.67. And in 2020, we're also 30th, but the score was 77.74. And then 2019, we were 27th with a score of 79.19. 2018, 23rd, 81.59 in terms of the score. And we'll be letting you know beyond the 2013 threshold, there are many others uh, as far back as 2005, which witnessed uh, one of the lowest in terms of a score that Ghana uh, secured in the ranking. And before 2013, there was 2012, there was 2011, 2010, uh, and the years before that. But we know that in Africa, top five African countries from the latest ranking are Seychelles, Namibia, South Africa, Cape Verde, and Ivory Coast. And we know that Seychelles now ranks 13th in the world from the 52nd position it had in 2021. And surprisingly, Burkina Faso ranks 41st in the world and 6th in Africa. And we know that now Ghana has dropped from 30th to 60 over the last one year. Well, the Media Foundation for West Africa says the Press Freedom Index downgrade shows the Kufuadu-led government is intolerant of critical media here in Ghana. Executive Director Suleiman Abraima is of a view the attacks against journalists have become one too many, arguing the president has not demonstrated enough commitment to address these issues. Gently. We have raised the flag, the red flag, that Ghana's, you know, uh, incidents are not looking good. We need to make amendments. The incidents and frequency of attacks are becoming just too many. The government of the day appears quite intolerant to, you know, critical media. It is for purposes of regulating human conduct that we have laws in our society. And so when people commit infraction, what you apply is the law. It's not the use of brute force. Where you deploy armed soldiers or armed uh, police officers to storm a radio station just to pick one person right. on the basis of publication of false news and so on and so forth. I am surprised that these are happening not because they are happening under President Ekufuado, because they are happening at a time that I would have thought that Ghana has gone far into our democracy over time, from Rawlings to Kufu, tense improved. Mm. Between Kufu and Mill, we saw an improvement, even though there were occasions where we expressed concern. The president so far has not shown anything that <laughs> demonstrates his commitment to mm. press freedom and but, freedom of expression. So, and so I like, think that that is quite sad. So so Suleiman Abraima is the executive director for the Media Foundation for West Africa. Well, the editor-in-chief of the fourth estate and advocates of press freedom, Manasseh Azuria Wene, says the current government is vindictive and that may have accounted for the downgrade. Well, I would have been surprised if we didn't drop. I am a bit surprised by the magnitude of that drop, but I always expected that we were getting worse and worse by the day, despite the denial by government and party officials. But I didn't expect us to perhaps hit 60. Not that I don't think the situation is bad enough to get us there, but I didn't uh, think we would hit there. But to say that I'm surprised that we have dropped significantly is no. What has contributed, in my view, is that we have a very vindictive regime. 
And those of us who are practitioners, when we talk about it, there are people who don't want uh, to hear the words as raw as they are. But I have been doing critical reporting uh, since 2013 under the administration of John Mahama. And at the time, I have said on a number of platforms that I never for once had to fear for my life for doing critical reporting. In fact, the night, uh, I, the, 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 the day I broke the Mahama Ford story, that night, Dr. Manibuama offered me police protection, but I felt I was safe enough and I didn't need police protection. I cannot say the same for today. Unfortunately, when you talk about it, there are people in government, there are people in the governing party who wants you to shut up. So there are a number of journalists in this country who are even too afraid to talk about their own uh, fears. So as we speak, we, you've mentioned a number of them. Uh, the arrest and the return of the criminal libel law. The ranking means a lot, but the good thing about this ranking is that before it came out, we knew our situation, we knew how bad it was. So those who would want to keep defending, it isn't going to help anybody.